man? It is your boy Miles, man. And today, man, we're gonna talk about how much the sound system in my truck costs. 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. That's a little pretty penny, but I think it was well worth it. Drop the comments, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and uh, put the time that you, you dropped the comment, how much you think it costs. Uh, and we're gonna discuss everything, how much I paid for everything, what's all in here. And man, we'll see how much it added up at the end of the day. But for now, man, we're just gonna keep riding and we're gonna jam for a little bit. And man, we're gonna get to it. A few moments later. Man, so we're back with another video, man. And today we're gonna discuss how much the sound system in my white Silverado costs, man. You know, drop the comment, like I said, uh, in the opening part of the video, uh, with the time that you're dropping the comment uh, of the video. Uh, let me know what you think. Was it like 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 15,000, man, drop down in the comments. Okay, so this is a quick rundown of what we actually got for the sound system. So basically we got two door panels, two front door panels with two tens and two tweeters in each door panel. These door panels are custom made. If you guys have been watching the videos, man, you saw these from uh, beginning to end to jamming to right now. Next, we actually have six amps total, two crossovers, uh, a bass doubler, which is like um, a replica of a, of a epicenter, I guess you can call it. Uh, we have a JL Audio amp and uh, five Terra amps underneath the seat. Next, we actually have uh, a clear on EQ, some switches, a volume knob, and a voltmeter. Uh, but we actually have another clear on EQ in the back of the bed. If you guys have seen the build, man, we got uh, mids and highs all over the place. There's six tens, two twelves, and two more tens, uh, four set of tweeters, uh, two sets of horns. There's a EQ, four eights, and two tweeters on the top of the bed uh, install. If you guys are watching the videos, man, they're up there, man, and it's all wrapped in red, painted red. This is probably just like a good estimate ballpark on much how everything costs. Man, I can't remember off the top of my head how much everything costs down to the teeth. I can, you know, look down at the receipts and at invoices, but that's just too much work. I'm just gonna give you from the prices without taxes and everything, and then we'll round it up at the end so you guys can get a little better idea of what's going on. So I actually have this list that I got prepared up with prices and then the equal amount, the amount of what it is at the end. Okay, so let's start with the 412 Sundowns. They're the E-Series subs. They're, I guess, the second level you want to say. I got 412 subs for $700. See what I'm saying? Okay, then next we have a Terra Amps 5K MD Series. 450. We have a Tara Amps HD 3K, I started saying Tara, I guess that's what it's called. Um, a, a HD 3K for $222. We have a MD 3K for $227. We have a MD 1800.1 for $186. Next we have the DS 250 one for $94. Then we have that JL Audio amp that I just showed you uh, for $400. I actually got that JL Audio used, but I mean that amp Brand new is almost like eight, nine hundred dollars. We have the PRV EX 3.5 crossover for sixty-nine dollars. We have the PRV EX 4.6 for seventy-nine dollars, and then that earthquake base doubler that I just showed you, uh, ninety-nine dollars. Uh, but I actually bought that one like a few years ago. I don't even think they make those things no more. But man, it's a very good piece. You know, look it up. It's it's cheaper than the audio control epicenter, and I feel like it works a little bit better, more user friendly. Next on the list, we have two clear on EQs. I just showed you the one inside the truck, and then there's the other one that's in the bed of the truck. So two clear on EQs, both together, $140. We have 10 10 inch Eminence Delta Pro mids. Uh, those are the ones that are in the doors and in the back of the bed. We have 10 of those. Um, each one of those is $144, so times 10, that's $1,440. $1,440. 
Then we have two EV10s playing as mid base, uh, you know, across the, the bed panel. Um, both of those guys are 550. Then we have the 212 Selenium MB12 mid base speakers. Both of those were $200 a piece. So, you know, we're going to say $400 for those guys. We have eight JBL ST450 Trio tweeters. You know, each one is $74, you know, times eight. Man, that's $752 just in tweeters. That's for the whole truck. Then we have the volume knob, $9.99, 10 bucks basically. I also got four um, small batteries inside the truck, or it's on the side of the box. Uh, we're just gonna say 250 for all four of those batteries. We have seven fuse holders. Uh, we're gonna say 40 bucks for all of them because they're just your typical fuse holders. They don't need to be nothing special. Uh, the seven fuses that are in there, you know, we'll say uh, 25 bucks. We have a lot of RCAs inside this guy. They're all sky high RCAs, and uh, comparing the prices to all of them, man, I just pretty much just added every single one of them up. And so in RCAs, man, we got $120 just in RCAs. In zero gauge, man, we got at least $150 in zero gauge, man. That's two rolls plus a little bit of extra. So $150 in just wire itself. Just wire, man. Just wire. Four gauge, we got another $100 because we did have to run four gauge to some of the amps. Not all the amps could take zero gauge, although I wish it could, but it didn't. So we'll just say $100 in four gauge. All the terminals, man, it ran like $45 for all the odd gauge terminals. I think we used probably like 10 of them. And for 10, you know, odd gauge terminals for 45 bucks, man, that's a pretty penny, no lie. So the box consists of a lot of materials. Same thing with the door panels. It consists of like fiberglass resin, you know, sandpaper, time, and everything. And although the, the pricing of everything is not really, you know, all there, this is just a quick estimate price just so you guys can, can see a little bit. What's up, bro? Um, so I just pretty much just like somewhat, you know, threw all the, the prices on everything together, um, labor and materials and everything on how much it would cost if you actually go get it done. So for the fourth order, uh, bandpass box that I built in this truck between material, uh, you know, labor and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We'll just say the box is worth a thousand dollars, man. I think I spent, you know, almost like a good amount of like two weeks on her, you know, working on her, you know, here and there. Um, with all the time and the material and everything that it costs, we'll just say a thousand dollars. The door panels that I just showed you guys, I, once again, you know, there's ballpark because there's fiberglass and this is just two door panels, although I could be charging more, but you know, we're just gonna go ahead and, and ballpark it. We're gonna say a thousand dollars just for the door panels, you know what I'm saying? That's just um, fiberglass, building it, and everything that's not including vinyl. We'll just say a thousand dollars do the bed all up you know vinyl um, all the woodworking the staples the screws the gluing um, the router bits everything etc etc we'll say all the bed panels with wood and all that stuff labor you know and materials everything we're just gonna say a thousand dollars because that was a lot of work you know what I'm saying and going back and getting material having the skill all the tools to do it man we're just gonna say a thousand dollars and it did take us almost like a week and a half to build all that stuff honestly was, we're, so we're gonna stick with a thousand dollars for those bed panels now this stuff was not cheap at all guys I'm just gonna go ahead and say it the vinyl to wrap everything which is the door panels the bed um, You know the beauty panel the panel and everything man, you know that vinyl was not cheap at all uh, You know it is a little bit pricey because it is a, a fancier vinyl and a little bit, you know Better vinyl stretchy wise so man and listen and this is my cost at getting that vinyl just the vinyl to do everything inside this truck was four hundred and fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? The receipts right there. I looked at it. That's actually I know for sure because I didn't want to get that out. You know, out price. I think I got like almost like ten yards. And man, that that vinyl was very expensive, but it's very beautiful. You know, I I don't think I could have picked a better color for it. Man, it came out really bomb. You know, so you know I feel like that was a good um, financial decision, although it wasn't. But, you know, I, it's it is what it is. I'm, I don't. When it comes to the car audio stuff, I do not make good financial decisions. You know, whatever I want, I buy. The glue to go ahead and do, you know, and wrap all the panels and everything, man, that's actually kind of expensive because um, it's a real deal upholstery glue. It's contact cement, and that's what, you know, the pros use. Man, and listen, the two gallons was $130 to wrap that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for the glue to wrap all the panels. It was worth it because that man that stuff is never gonna come off You'll break your arm trying to rip your vinyl off of a panel to get that stuff off I'm not even gonna lie to you speaker wire man. You know, we ran speaker wire from the door panels uh, for the door panels 
for the mids in the back, you know, subs and everything. There's 10 gauge, there's 12 gauge, and I think there's 14 gauge. Um, you know, we're gonna go ahead and speaker wire, man. We spent $150 on speaker wire. You know, I seen the outcome of the truck, you know, and all the videos and the outcome when we were out in Orlando, you know, jamming and getting it. Uh, I couldn't have been happier with the outcome of everything. Uh, did I go a little overboard in what I really intentionally tried to do with this truck? Yes, but is it worth it? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't complain. The truck is jamming. Uh, you know, I'm very happy with it. Everybody loves it. Every time everybody hears it, man, they, they, they fall in love with it. Um, and it, it's a sleeper. You know what I'm saying? You sit here and look at this truck riding by. You would never think, man, the door panels are done and the bed's full of speakers. But listen, it, it is jamming. It, it's full. It's there. And man, you know, everybody loves it. I mean, look at it. What is there not to love about it? Are you guys ready to see or hear how much, it, you know, quick ballpark area, how much it costs to do this truck? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Pretty much took $10,500 to do the system in my truck. You know, that's just a quick ballpark. It could actually be a little bit more. It could be a lot more, but you know, I didn't even include primary wire now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't include the switches. Uh, the voltmeter, all the primary wire, uh, relays if I just said that. Man, there's so much extra stuff I did not even include. Uh, the tape, the loom, the zip ties, all the screws. Man, we got a lot of money in screws in this thing. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, so, you know, we'll just say 10.5, you know what I'm saying? The quick ballpark area for this truck. Well, listen, I feel that it's a good price. Um, if you go to someone and be like, hey, I want to spend $10,500 on a system, you won't necessarily get this, but listen, you will get a very, very, very loud sound system and you'll be happy with it. Drop down in the comments, let me know. Do you think that's a little bit too much? Is that underballing it? Or do you think you could have got something better for $10,500? Um, man, I, I honestly feel for $10,500 for all this, man, that, that's a steal. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong because this is us getting, you know, stuff pretty much at cost. Um, if you go out in actual stores and get a lot of this equipment, man, they're going to tax you. Like the subs, I think they, some guy was trying to get me to pay $900 for the subs, but my plug hooked me up. You know what I'm saying? And I actually feel like for my other plug for the speakers, I could have got those a little bit cheaper. But hey, you, you got to pay to play. You feel me? With that being said, man, 10 5 for the sound system. Drop the comments. Let me know what you guys think, man. Hit that like. Subscribe to the channel. Man, we still got plenty of stuff to do. Stay tuned for the rest of the week's videos. Because the grind never stops, man. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.